17 at Green Bay. No score, 658 to go in this first game. I'm a huge Packers fan. Keeps everybody out of the woods. This guy's pheasant dog is awfully birdie. Just got to this uh, parking spot. I'm on my plan B already. Met a younger guy who was heading to the same area I originally wanted to go to. My plan B, there's five trucks in the parking lot. Hoping at least a couple of them are pheasant hunters. I did see two guys walking in on the main trail, bow hunting. But uh, there's a ton of corn around here and I'm gonna focus on, on that. Decent track here. I don't know. It's a buck. It's pretty damn fresh. Probably from last night or this morning. I'm gonna follow these tracks a ways. There's a spot I'm thinking about setting up that I think is pretty overlooked by most bull hunters. The risk is with pheasant season opening yesterday, somebody might have been through there, but I mean I think this track is within the last 24 hours. So maybe not affected by the pressure. Just walking the edge of this cornfield. I'm about 400 yards from that first video of the track. And I lost the original track, but that whole area, I, I took a video, I saw two pheasant hunters in that 400 yard stretch between here and there. It's all CRP, great pheasant habitat, it would be great deer habitat too if, um, if the pheasant hunting pressure wasn't so high. But uh, walking the edge of this field, I found another good sized track. Solid three, three finger. Out in the middle of this corner, there's a swale that I think would be a pretty overlooked spot in opening in the corn. I might set up on the ground there or further on there's another kind of opening about maybe five acres in size with some medium sized box elder trees that I might be able to get into. So I'm going to follow this track for a little bit check that first swale. If I don't see any good looking sign there I'm going to move on just flushed a nice rooster. He was right here. Looks like he was dusting himself or something. Could have shot him if I had my shotgun. All right, so I've decided on a setup. Kind of this funky tree. I got the platform that's one stick high. I can climb up to this crotch and then get up here. That might be as far up as I go. I might move it one more time, just a little bit higher. This whole, all this buckthorn around me would be good cover. You see, if I get too high up there, I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, I'm all settled in here. Feeling pretty good about the spot. Could either be really good or I'm gonna get skunked. I think it's kind of one of these spots that it's not too far from the parking lot. There's some roads for people to get in here, but just from talking to friends and other hunters, nobody likes to walk through corn. You have to walk through a few hundred yards of corn to get here. So I, I came from that direction over there. That's where I saw those big tracks. And I followed the edge of this corn here. And you can see where the farmer missed some rows here. It makes a perfect shooting lane for me out there, about 35 yards. And then right through all of this, that's probably about 50 yards all the way over there. 
looks thick on the camera, but I've got, I should have plenty of holes where I can sneak an arrow through. So there's, there's corn that surrounds this like CRP weed field. You see corn goes like a mile that way. And then more corn and off that direction I scouted there's some big big buck sign out that way and another like woodlot kind of area and that's where I kind of wanted to set up but talking to one of the pheasant hunters in the parking lot it sounds like there's been some pressure back there and the kid I talked to at my plan a spot actually told me on Friday he was back in there and didn't see anything which I mean it's like a hundred acre patch so who knows where he was set up but so this CRP makes an L back this way the wind is blowing straight out that way wind is coming in my face here so my thought is I'll be able to watch all the way across here for deer traffic. Obviously right here, if anything comes out of the corn. And then also up this way. But I mean, I feel like if I was a big buck bedding down in the corn for safety and food, I'd want to come out for air at some point. <laughs> meaning, meaning I feel like I'd be claustrophobic in the corn. I just feel like this set right in the middle of a three, four hundred acre cornfield could be a good spot. There's also a trail that comes right kind of past the stand here underneath me, which is kind of less than ideal, but what are you going to do? So I'm going to get settled in, try to stay still, quiet, and keep our eyes open for some deer. I don't know what it, what is up with me and crab apple trees, but this is like the fourth hunt this year where I've set up in a tree and once I'm all set up, I look and I got a crab apple tree not even 10 yards away.
just in time. It's starting to freaking rain. I think I'm gonna call it an evening. We only got maybe five minutes. I'd be able to shoot again. If even that. That wind is picking up too, rocking me around. I came down to this open spot in the corner because this tree I thought maybe it would have a scrape under it. You can see some old licking branches from deer, but nothing, nothing in the last probably four or five days has, has hit this. So you can see there where it's bit off by a deer. So I think they're just, the bucks aren't too active in here right now. We have documented this and we'll remember it for next year. That's the tree I was in right there. There's a trail that goes in over there. And there's another trail right here. You can see how tall these weeds are. Those are, some of those are like seven feet tall. So, I mean, <laughs> there definitely could have been deer out there a little ways and I wouldn't have been able to see them. Being elevated helps your case quite a bit, but regardless, nothing came within 30 yards of me tonight. Well, I picked the wrong spot tonight on the way home. I mean, within a couple miles of where I was hunting, all public property I saw least five maybe six different deer in different spots across the road in front of me so they were moving tonight just uh, not where I was at so I was just uh, listening to the radio and the weatherman said tomorrow there's supposed to be 25 mile an hour winds up to 50 miles an hour gusts of 50 mile an hour winds so I gotta look at the forecast but if Tuesday it looks like it's gonna calm down might have to try to figure out a way to get out to the woods that should be a good day anytime uh, you get a big drastic change in weather like that going from high winds to more moderate winds or hot temps to cooler temps uh, when that happens the deer seem to like to be on their feet thanks for following along and we will catch you next time six trucks on the last one back to my truck everybody else has left already I wasn't really all that far back maybe three quarters of a mile 